Hello everyone, here is another video with Orcsube channel. In this video, I'm going to explain synthesis of alcohols by using acetylide anion. Acetylide anions, they are a strong nucleophile and they can easily add to carbonyl compound. So if we have C double bond O, aldehyde or ketone functional group, this negative carbon easily can attack to this and push pi bond to the oxygen. As a result, we have this intermediate and oxygen has negative charge. After addition of acetylide anion to the carbonyl group, we need to acidify the reaction by adding acid. We're going to neutralize the intermediate and then the negative oxygen turns to OH. This type of alcohol called alkynol, it means we have triple bond and also we have alcohol in the same molecule. Acetylide anion also able to attack to epoxy ring and open the rings. As a result, we get C triple bond C, then we have CH2, CH2 O negative, and again after adding acid to this mixture, we can have an alcohol with triple bond or alkynol. Let's have some example for both of these two reactions. Here is the first example. We have the acetylide anion. This negative carbon can easily attack to the carbonyl group here because the carbon on carbonyl group has partially positive charge and nucleophile attack to it and then push double bond to the oxygen. As a result, we have this intermediate. Then CH, H, and O negative. Or I can just write CH2O negative. Then by acidifying the mixture, the negative oxygen atom turns to OH. Here is the product for this reaction, a primary alcohol. So when we use formaldehyde in this reaction, the product is primary alcohol. Here is the next example again the nucleophilic carbon, this negative carbon attacks the carbonyl group, push pi bond to the oxygen. As a result, here we have CH3, C triple bond C, then it attached to the CH O negative, and instead of benzene ring, I just put phenyl group. Then after acidifying this reaction, Again, negative oxygen turns to OH. So here is the product for this example. So whenever we use aldehyde, except formaldehyde, in this reaction, our product is a secondary alcohol. Here is another example. This negative carbon can attack to the carbonyl group, push the pi bond to the oxygen. So this compound is ketone. Then we get this intermediate. The double bond O converts to O negative. And we have a new bond between this carbon and alkynes. By acidifying this mixture, the negative oxygen turns to OH. So here is our product for this reaction. 
Here is the next example. We have three step reaction for this compound. The first reaction is reaction with sodium amide. Sodium amide is a strong base and this negative can take hydrogen to form an acetylide anion. As a result, we get this anion. Then in second step, we have the action of this anion with this compound, CH3COCH3. This compound is acetone, it's a ketone, and this negative carbon can easily attack to the carbonyl. Then we get this intermediate. The carbonyl group turns to CO negative. It also has two CH3 group. By acidifying this mixture on the last step, negative oxygen turns to OH. And our product is a tertiary alcohol. So by reaction of acetylide anion and ketone, we always get a tertiary alcohol. And here is our product for this three-step reaction. Here is the first example for epoxy ring. It is like the reaction with carbonyl group. We have negative carbon and this negative carbon can attack to one of these two carbon on epoxy ring and break this CO bond and open the epoxy ring. As a result, here we have the acetylide anion part and then it attached to this carbon which is CH2 then this CH2 attached to the next CH2 and then we have our oxygen on the second CH2 which is negative and then we need to acidify the mixture by acidifying the mixture this negative oxygen turns to an alcohol functional group so here is our product for this reaction. In the next example, we have an asymmetric epoxy ring. Acetylide anion is a very strong nucleophile. So the reaction of acetylide anion and epoxy ring is SN2-like reaction. So it always would like to attack to the less substituted carbon on epoxy ring. This carbon on epoxy ring, it is primary, and this carbon is secondary. So between these two carbon, nucleophile, negative carbon attack to the primary, less substituted one, and push the oxygen to the secondary carbon. As a result, here is our intermediate. We have C triple bond, C attached to the primary carbon, the primary carbon here is CH2. Then after that, we have secondary carbon with O negative and also secondary carbon has a methyl group. Then by acidifying this mixture, negative oxygen turns to OH. This is our product for this reaction. Again, here is another example with asymmetric epoxy ring. This carbon is primary and this carbon is tertiary on epoxy ring. Then C negative attack to the primary less substituted carbon and break this bond push oxygen to the next carbon, which is a tertiary carbon. As a result, this is the structure for our intermediate. The C triple bond C attached to the primary carbon on epoxy ring, which is CH2. Then CH2 attached to the C O negative. And this C is belong to the cyclohexane ring as well. So instead of drawing in this way, then I can show this structure in this form then by acidifying this mixture negative oxygen turns to hydroxy group this is the product for this reaction
And here is the last example in this video. The first step is the reaction between terminal alkynes and sodium amide, deprotonation reaction. So this NH2 negative take hydrogen again and form the anion. So we have this anion. And then second step, we have reaction of this anion with epoxy ring. So if we add this anion to this epoxy ring, this negative carbon attack to one of these two carbon on epoxy ring and open this ring. As a result, here is the structure for the intermediate CH2, CH2, O negative. Then by acidifying this mixture on the third step, we turn negative oxygen to OH. So now we synthesize our alcohol, but we know triple bond has many reactions. In this example, we have reduction of triple bond by hydrogenation reaction in the presence of Lindler catalyst. We know Lindler catalyst reduce alkynes to cis alkene. So our product for this reaction after step four is triple bond turns to the double bond, but it should be cis alkene. So both of hydrogen on this double bond should be on the same side. Then on this side, we have benzene ring and on this side we have CH2, CH2OH. Here is a structure for this four step reaction. Thank you for watching this video. To watch more video, please subscribe to our YouTube channel.